Welcome Sagittarius. This is going to be your general reading for October. So we're going to jump right in and see what's coming through. We have the Four of Wands in the reverse. All right, something feels a bit off with maybe a connection, a partnership. Yeah, you may be going in a new direction for some here, Sag. A disconnect, a disharmony, a breakup. There's a lot of struggles here. I feel like you're emotionally pulling away from somebody here because it's a, it's not equal give and take. Something feels off. One is giving too much than the other. Um, so it could feel like a one-sided situation here, one-sided connection. Let's get more into this, Sag. King of Swords energy is coming in your energy. Six of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Past. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is, is about like, you know, stability, wealth, family, completion, long-term relationships, investments, right? Could be home, family. Let's see, and I mean, I'm seeing you thinking about this four of wands, or this person thinking about this four of wands, and something's weighing heavy on them. In the near future, something's requiring you to have strength about a wish and a desire, okay? Look at that. All right, so there's something that is closing out Hmm. All right, with that King of Swords energy, we're going to clarify all this because in the challenge, it's showing the Ace of Wands energy, which can feel like there's something that's going out within the connection or with the situation. Something doesn't feel as exciting anymore. Something doesn't feel passionate or like it doesn't motivate you to, you know, something, something in this area with the Ace of Wands. It's just... Feeling like the lights are going out, okay? Are the fires going out on something here? This person is thinking about this relationship and the reason why they're thinking about it is because it's weighing heavy on them. Um, something they're carrying, lots of heaviness. And it's taking a toll. Person is reminiscing, could be thinking about you here a lot with that Six of Cups. I feel you went cold on them. I feel like you're just kind of like, Oof, like no emotion towards this person right now, like are wanting to show emotion to this person. Um, and in the near future, we do have that strength card. Okay, but there is, a, it looks like there's closing out a chapter. There's closing out a chapter to move into a new, like a, a newer beginning, right? So something in that area, star represents renewal. It represents um, faith, having faith and being honest with yourself, um, connecting and realigning uh, or reigniting your hope again, okay? So a lot of you guys could be reconnecting with spirit or feeling like you need to reconnect with spirit, uh, you know, to be guided to your path here. Something feels a bit of a need of grounding. There's more, there's, there's a need for more calm, but this position here with the star is powerful because it's a very divine place to be. Okay, so let's see. Um, let me see what cards I'm going to use for this one. Let's use this one here. Let's bring out these ones. I love these cards. Ah, see, we have the devil. Right when I opened up the deck here, we had the devil and the hermit. So it is showing that there is some unhealthy things here going on. Unhealthy attachments or unhealthy ways, but let's see. Let's get that Six of Cups energy. All right. We have the Ace of Swords and the Emperor. Okay, so there is some truth coming in here or conversation. It, okay. Oh. We have the Chariot. Looks like you're over it, but in and out. I, okay, I don't know what is going on here, Saj, but you are on the chariot. Uh, see, something here, it's like broken promises in the challenge, like somebody's lacking again. They, they offer this, 
you know, and then something impulsive happens with that Knight of Swords, not thinking about the long-term consequences. Things are done, things are said, and taking action, but there's no long-term thinking. So it's like, I'll, I'll take, I'll just deal with it another time, or, you know, I'm going to act like this right now and deal with all of that later, and not knowing how it's hurting other people while being in that way, but by being this way, you know. Uh, so it does show, you know, someone here with that uh, impulsive energy. Someone wants to talk to you. They want to talk to you. Okay. Um, I feel like when this person, I feel, okay, so what I'm feeling here is that both of you guys may have different beliefs or different ways of seeing the situation. That's what I'm seeing. Like one might feel that they're really right about it and the other one may feel like they're really right about it. And um, there's there's something here about not seeing each other's point of views in a way, but at the same time, it's like, I feel you're coming up very passionate when you, con when you communicate. You communicate with passion, communicate with truth, and I feel that right now this person wants to be right. They want, they could have other energies involved to uh, their validation from other people because they're not always sure if they're right. Um, but they only go to people that will agree with them. That's what I'm getting here too, this energy. But the perfect in the reverse telling you this is more of an energy that feels like something is very off balance. There's two different ways of thinking that's really affecting this connection. But it does look like in the near future, there's a want, there's a choice coming in. Okay, we have an imper energy here. There's a lot of a want of control of the situation. There's want of authority, like listen to me. You know, there's a want of like growth at the same time, but also like needing to speak the truth and be equal when communicating. So we have the lovers, which is all about the, uh, a choice, but it does look like from what I'm seeing here, Sag, is that there is another breakthrough coming in with a connection or with in your situation where it feels like there is a lot of healing that is is needed within this the connection a lot of of you know it, it feels like there's a lot of love there's a lot of care but it's like the but it's like the it's it's getting to that place again where you guys both have an understanding or the situation where you have an understanding because the star is here to say you know there's a renewal here have faith, have hope within the connection, you know, you need to just follow your dreams, but be, but don't, you know, but listen to each other. The star wants to not live in the dark anymore. The star wants to live in the light. It wants to discover new things, right? The star is about hope and wishes and and really trusting yourself and what's to come and what's meant to be like that's the star and i feel like the lovers does have a big like the lovers card in the strength does have a chance of fighting this obstacle with each other okay so that's what i'm seeing here chat the chaz why did i say chaz <laughs> sorry Satch. um let's see All right, there's a judgment call. There is a big choice ahead, Sag, that I'm seeing here with the judgment call. This is about choices and, and with your good judgment. Um, judgment, again, when we have this card, it's an awakening and it's a rebirth of some, of some sort um, within your situation. So it's more of letting go of old shit or old patterns, right? and embracing the new and stepping into the new chapter in your life. But it's also making a choice, like no longer struggling on making a choice. 
okay? This is confronting issues head on. This is listening to your inner voice and answering the call. So, and don't listen to that, those inner critics. But there is a sense of the seven of wands of needing to protect your desires and your wishes, needing to protect your wants here too. So that's why I feel like the six of rings is here is because like something feels out of balance. Something feels like it's all about them. Like what about myself too? And I feel like that's where you're like, hey, no, I'm sticking to this. This is what I want. This is what I believe in strongly. We have to meet in the middle, you know? So we have to meet compromise in some way. So judgment is, is about choices. Okay. It's about choices and it's saying, okay, right now, take a break, sleep on it. Um, and then, yeah, I feel like there's, there's big choices, a lot of love and a lot of things that are happening here for sure. Some self doubt. Okay. Be careful. There may be some trickery here too, but that's what I'm, I'm seeing. I feel like there's something is a sketchy kind of offer or sketchy, like an offer, but it's not, it's like the challenge is, is like it does, it has maybe too many like, like holes in it or doesn't feel, I don't know, maybe it doesn't feel like stable enough or feel comfortable with this offer or whatever this may be, this message. All right, so let's see. This is a message from your person. I don't want to run anymore. Okay, good. So facing, confronting issues. New chapter and mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. I'm trying to move on. Maybe this person holds on to the past a lot. Commitment. I want you to be part of my future and hope. See, there's that star. I haven't given up on us yet. Exactly. But I haven't told you everything. <laughs> I just came out of nowhere. Again, dig what resonates with these readings. Um, yeah, it just feels like there's a power struggle here with something. Oops. Sorry, guys. We both feel differently about each other. I need you. Our connection was toxic. You mean the world to me. I was not ready for you. I don't think, I feel like, okay, what I'm getting is so odd. When someone says I'm not ready for you, it's like they're not ready to, like maybe you could be bringing out their shadow side or bringing out things about them that they're not ready to see within themselves. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not ready for you because I'm not ready to see the, the, the stuff I need to work on. That's what I'm getting that too. I mean, I felt that very, very strongly when I saw that message. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get a message from Spirit. I did purchase new cards. I'm so excited. They're more of like Spirit cards, and then I got like a different one of these. And um, what else did I get? Yeah, more messages, because I love the, the Oracle cards. I feel like they really do help, you know, more towards the end. All right, so we have wherever you go and whatever you do, be in love, strong feelings, inspired, don't settle for less, Sagittarius. Then it says, try something different, surrender, don't push so hard, let grace carry you. Yeah, not forcing things. That's what I'm seeing here too. It's, not, it's like not wanting to force anything. Embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. And there's like blue, okay, blue um, energy here. So you guys can look up the, the chakra that's blue. I forgot which one it was. Is that your throat chakra? I forgot. Um, but yeah, blue is like really intense with these messages. And I felt like I needed to say something about that. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for you. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope it resonated. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys I cannot believe I'm going to say this, but November, November already here. Our, oh my gosh, we only have like a couple months until 2024. Crazy times. All right, so I'll see you guys very soon. God bless.